welcome back to my channel and welcome to my home, The Boundary Between Worlds. Thank you so much for being here with me. I am going to be doing the tarot plus the runes. We'll find out what's going on next week for you. Also what's going on in love for you with the runes. And I'll be doing that for all your earth signs. That is going to be Taurus, Virgo and Capricorn. And yeah, let's just get straight into it and suss out where things are at next week. Earth signs. All right, next week I feel like, all right, Earth signs, I feel like there is a lot going on around home, okay? I feel like you've kind of gotten to a stage where you started to change things around home, okay? You started to change that dynamic. And around home, I'm talking about the people that are close to you, okay? Those people that are really close in your personal life. I feel like there have been quite a few dramas, uh, quite a few upheavals, right? And I feel like you've really been putting up with a lot and carrying a lot at the same time, right? And really having to take the load on. And I feel like at times this has hardened you, but at the same time, I feel like you're you're so passionate in what you, in who you are and what you're doing that I feel like it, it all comes from a good place regardless. Um, you are going to need strength though next week. You know, like I said before, it's kind of like you're not fully out of it. Um, I do feel like there are still going to be ups and downs. And I feel like for a lot of you, this is like one person in particular, one or two people. But I feel like for most of you, this is one person um, where it's really like that's where everything's been going, right? It's kind of like don't sacrifice your happiness for this person's happiness in a sense, okay? There's really this need for you to continue charging after what you what you want, right? I feel like you're really striving for something. I sense that you're 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 kind of in this direction that's really aligning with what it is you want, with your passion, with your creativity, and with what brings you joy. And I feel like this path you're heading in, you have to keep going down it, right? You can't detour because it's taking you to a place that's good for you, that's good for your soul, for your psyche. And I feel like there's a need to just not lose direction of that, right? And not to focus too much on the other person's happiness. Yours is very, it's kind of like you really need to focus on yours. You need to continue finding and maintaining your happiness, right? And take that risk next week. I feel like there's really, I feel like at times maybe you have been holding back or haven't been saying what needs to be said. And there's really, I'm sensing that next week is really that time to, to ask those questions, to be direct, to say what you need to say. And also to like take that risk, right? I feel like for those of you where you're kind of going, I, I feel like next week you're going to find that, that speculation is going to benefit you, okay? I feel like your gut is going to be guiding you in the right direction. I feel like things that are going to feel risky aren't really so risky because your intuition's kind of stepping in as well. So without even knowing, there's a knowing, if that makes sense. Um, and I feel like for a lot of you too, it's really it, to take that risk to change things up around home as well, right? To change that dynamic so you don't keep have things uh coming back down again all right i do feel like like i said before next week for you really seems to be centering around around what's been going on at home and really trying to keep that harmony and balance okay not only within yourself but within the environment and the people in the environment as well you are i i feel like this 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 gen like i was talking about before where you are with your passion with your creativity i feel like you're really starting to open up doors okay and all this learning and this route you're taking is really favored right there is so much you're going to gain from it and i feel like that's a big thing too is being open open to learn and and willing to learn and willing to look at things with an open mind from a different perspective is really going to benefit you next week right at the end of the day though any of the obstacles you encounter um i sense like your obstacles you encounter really are only surrounding these people in your home environment right i feel like other than that you are in this really good position because i feel like you you're striving for something you know you've got your goal you've got your purpose you know what you're doing what you want and it's kind of like even though you're not there yet it's about 
you know, you're striving for something so much more, something so much bigger, um, and you're heading in the right direction, right? Don't get swayed and don't accept this. It's kind of like don't be pulled into, like I was saying before, everybody else's behavior. Don't be pulled into reacting to their emotions. Uh, keep yourself in check with you because you're going to find that it's, it's really just about you staying in charge of your direction, where you're going, right? And you in control of your decisions and everything you're doing. Um, I feel like regardless, you're quite reliant on yourself anyway. You're quite independent and determined and driven anyway, right? But you are going to find that that's going to benefit you next week. And I feel like, you know, everything is going to settle down long term. I feel like with all the stuff that goes on around home, I feel like it puts a lot of things that are kind of um, uneasy in a sense, right? And like I said, quite a few questions, quite a few uncertainties. And I feel like there's this need just to not to worry right just to let it go let it go because it is going to work out long term things are going to settle down long term for you and i feel like even if you can't see that now it doesn't matter like you don't need to see it it's going to happen and there's that need to just trust that everything's going to unfurl and for the best for you okay to give you that happily ever after for you that you deserve and that you seek all right and let's just whack out the runes and suss out where we're at with love. Okay, I feel like things are in a good position, all right? I do feel like, like I was saying before, there has been this, this, I feel like you're moving forward with your independence with your reliance right and i feel like that's such a big drive for you is you can over you can overcome the obstacles that come your way you can overcome the ups and downs and the highs and the lows as well right i feel like you've definitely been hardened in a sense right to be able to handle but to also to be able to see the beauty to be able to see the, the passion, the warmth, the creativity, to be able to stop and smell the roses in a sense. Um, I do feel like next week, it, 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 it kind of has ups and downs as well, okay? I feel like it is its own journey as well, right? There is, there is I feel like you've kind of moved, moved into this new stage, right? You've had this growth, you've had this change, and it's put you in this place where there is an abundance that's going to be coming, okay? And this abundance is a result of the insight that will come to you. You are going to get, um, it's kind of like everything's going to be clear. The path forward's going to be clear. What to do is going to be clear. How to act and when to act is going to be clear. I feel like next week for you, it's really like everything's just going to reveal itself. It's, it's kind of like... This growth within yourself just puts you into this position that has this roll-on effect where it's kind of just like this chain reaction, right? And everything is just going to unfurl on its own. Everything is going to reveal itself. And like I said, you're going to know when to act and you're going to know when to take that next step. But it's also about understanding that even when you do act and even when you do get that insight, it's still a journey regardless, right? It's still ever evolving and it's still like i said got those ups and downs and just to remember that you are in this stage of it's kind of like just going with the ebb and the flow right and letting that letting it unfurl there are things out of your hands that are uncontrolled right there are things that you don't have control over other people over what they think over what they feel over other people's emotions and it's just about letting go of everything you can and just focusing on you what you can control and then you're going to find everything's going to work out for you anyway because you do have so much good coming to you because of your mindset because of where you're at and yeah that's everything thank you so much for watching i really really appreciate you uh like usual please like comment subscribe it is the best way that you can help me out and please stop by my channel there is heaps of stuff on there for you and yeah most of all thank you very much see you later